Hi, I'm Vinod from Dell Technologies Data Protection Technical Marketing Team. In this demo, we will install the Windows File System Agent on a Windows host and discover the assets in the Data Manager UI. We will next create a protection policy to back up the Windows Disaster Recovery Asset. We will then perform a system state restore from the Data Manager UI. And finally, we will perform a bare metal recovery using the Data Manager Custom WinPay ISO image. This is the Power Protect Data Manager UI. Let's navigate to the Windows host for the file system agent installation. I have already downloaded the file system agent and copied it to this Windows host. We see the file system agent version 19.10. Click on run. Select I agree. Click next. Click next. Enter the Power Protect Data Manager appliance host name or IP address. Once done, click on install. We see the installation in progress. Let's wait for the file system agent installation to get completed. The file system agent has been successfully installed and we see the server registration is successful. Let's navigate to Data Manager UI and approve the application agent. Click on finish. From the Data Manager UI, navigate to infrastructure. Click on application agents. We see the file system agent is awaiting approval. Select and click on approve. The file system host is now successfully registered with data manager. Let's navigate to asset sources and verify the host. See the host and the status is available. Let's navigate to assets. We see all the drives along with disaster recovery asset is now successfully discovered. Let's create a protection policy to protect these assets. Navigate to protection, click on protection policies, click on add. Enter a name for the protection policy. Give Windows BMR SSR demo, click on next, click next. Choose the asset like to choose both the local drive as well as the disaster recovery asset click next click next enter the primary backup storage name Give the retention details click save click next choose the appropriate disaster recovery options for more details Refer Data Manager File System User Guide. Click Next. Review the summary and click on Finish. Let's wait for the policy configuration to get completed. The policy configuration is now complete. Let's perform a manual backup. Navigate to Protection, Protection Policies. Choose the Protection Policy and click on Protect Now. Select next, next, click protect now. We see the manual backup is in progress. Let's wait for the backup to get completed. We now see the backup has been completed successfully for both C drive and as well as disaster recovery asset. Let's verify the disaster recovery backup copy and proceed to perform a system state recovery. Navigate to restore. Click on Assets, select the host, choose the disaster recovery copy and choose View Copies. Select DD, we see the disaster recovery backup copy available, choose and click on System State Restore. We see the disaster recovery backup copy mount in progress, let's wait for the mount to get completed. The backup copy mount is successful. Once the backup copy is mounted successfully, the list of backed up writers are displayed. By default, all writers are selected for a system state recovery, which is the recommended way of recovering system information. You can select individual writers for which you wish to do an system state recovery. If you do select individual writers, the following warning message appears. Please note that you must select the entire system state to restore. Partial selection of system state restore is not recommended unless it is for Active Directory restore. For this demo, I have selected all the writers for restore. 
click next review the summary and click on finish the system state restore can be monitored from jobs protection job section you see the system state recovery in progress let's wait for the recovery to get completed the system state recovery is now successful once the system state recovery is complete reboot the host machine and log into the host to verify the system state next we will perform a bare metal recovery using the customized data manager winpay iso image the customized data manager winpay iso image can be downloaded from the data manager ui click on settings choose downloads select winpay you see the winpay iso image click on download for this demo i have already downloaded the winpay iso image and have copied it to my esxi data store Let's navigate to vCenter to power off and delete my Windows host for which we already have this Windows host DR backup copy available. This is my Windows VM for which we already have a disaster recovery backup copy available. Let's proceed to power off and delete this Windows VM. Power off. Confirm power off. Delete. Confirm delete. The VM has been successfully deleted. Let's proceed to create a new virtual machine. Right click, new virtual machine. Click next. Enter a name for the virtual machine. I would like to keep the same virtual machine name with underscore BMR. Click next. Select the ESXi host. Click next. Select the data store. Click next. Select the guest OS version, click next, select the disk size as appropriate and I would like to boot this VM with the customized data manager WinPay ISO image that is downloaded from data manager UI, select the WinPay ISO image and click OK, make sure it is connected, click next, review the summary and click on finish. We now see the virtual machine is created. Let's power on this VM. Click on launch web console. OK. Let's wait for the VM to boot the customized data manager WinPay ISO image. Once the target host is booted, the data manager bare metal recovery wizard opens the welcome page to specify date, time and time zone. Once then click next. Select the network interface to communicate with data manager. Once done, click next. Enter the host name and domain name for the host. Configure the static IP address. Once done, click next. Confirm the available disk for this host and click next. Enter the data manager server and source host name details and click next. Once connection to data manager is established, select the backup copy and click next review the critical volumes to restore and click next restore button is now enabled click on restore select i confirm to format the disk and restore the backup click ok we now see the bare metal recovery has started let's wait for the recovery to get completed we can also monitor the bare metal recovery job status from data manager ui jobs protection job section Let's wait for the recovery to get complete. Bare metal recovery has been completed successfully. Let's proceed to reboot the system. Once reboot is complete, let's log in and verify the host. Click on reboot. Here we go. We now see the VM is back online and bare metal recovery has been completed successfully using PowerProtect Data Manager. For more details on Windows bare metal recovery and system state recovery, refer Data Manager File System Agent User Guide. Thanks for watching this demo.